technically day four um so i'm on my way to a local coffee shop that is over here and where i'm staying at and um because this this part of the region the west part of puerto rico is really really known for like coffee so this is where i'm going to be getting the good coffee at so this is the part of the trip i've been actually looking forward to the most the west side of the island um so we're going to do all that and then we're also going to go to a couple of beaches today um and probably maybe try to run on a trail too. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, <laughs> so we can get a lot done. And then if for whatever reason I lose some energy, then we'll chill over here. And you saw the backyard, but you, you didn't see it during the day. Um, let me just give you a quick preview of what it looks like during the day before I leave. Um, yeah. Mind you, my running schedule has, yeah hasn't happened <laughs> I'm hoping maybe next year I mean not next year wow I didn't mean it like that maybe next um when I get back next week we'll get back in full swing because I have the rest of the week off next week too so I basically have three weeks off <laughs> I'm excited about it this is what the yard looks like so I might chill do some sunbathing a little bit it's cute it's quaint um, hopefully they're not doing construction over there again because yesterday they were doing construction during the day which is the reason why I was like yeah I think I'm going to chill and stay here and then this is the hot tub I was in last night so that's definitely more of a night thing not during the day because it's so hot it's so warm um, but yeah let's go get some coffee get some things and then yeah on to the adventures. So, this is um, still me, but <laughs> I'm actually not um, wanting to go on camera right now because I'm driving at the same time. So, we're just going to talk it through. So, when I tell you the west side of the island and the east side of the island is night and day, don't mind the instructions because I'm using my phone for directions as well. But, man... I have been, yeah, I, if I come back to Puerto Rico so far, so far, because I haven't been to San, I haven't really ventured off in San Juan yet, um, I just basically flew, flew into there and then I left, um, and it wasn't a nice day, so it didn't really help, um, yeah, it, whenever I do come back to Puerto Rico, because I am going to come back, um, I'm definitely going to do the west side, I <laughs> am all about it. Now, if I want to get zinned out, I'm going to stay at where I was staying at before. Like, be zen and just peaceful. Because that was very zen and peaceful. And, oh my gosh, I can't wait to explain. I found out so much more information because I talked to a local here. Um, her name was Kelly. Um, who lives in um, Recon. And so, I want to talk to her. So, she told me what... Um, the place that I was staying at before, which is, um, Yabico, I, I think that's how you say it, um, she told me how to say it before, and I was saying it right, and child, I don't think I'm saying it right anymore, I'm kind of annoyed, because it's actually named after the tribal ancestors, the ancestors who used to live here before Columbus did his stupid crap. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I felt so at peace. I was like, this is why when I was there, I was forced to relax. I could not try to do the most because the way my ancestors and the ancestors here were telling me, girl, if you don't relax, 
I think this is why I even caught like a mini, like I wasn't really sick sick because it came out of nowhere. The way I just was not knocked down a peg from nowhere and now I'm feeling so much better like my normal self. I can't even tell you how that happened other than I think, you know, God, ancestors, whatever you want to believe in, intervening and was like, if you're not going to sit down, we're going to make you sit down. And that's what has to happen to me at times. Sometimes if I don't listen and I just try to do the most, <laughs> the universe, God, wherever you want to believe in, has a funny way of telling you, oh, if you're not going to sit down, you're going, you know what, there's no, there's no such thing as you're not going to sit down. You're going to sit down. <laughs> Either you can do it willingly and relax, or we're going to make you sit down and relax. And yeah. That is literally what happened. And I'm just kind of like, child, child. I, this is just a, a tall tale of you just need to listen. Listen, listen, listen. And the vacation that I thought this was going to be, it's not that. But it's also been the most relaxed I've ever been. I've been the most at peace at this vacation. I haven't had any worries. I've been fully tranquilo. Like, I've been tranquilo. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. and But I'm so glad that I chose this. Because remember, guys, um... My original vacation plan, well, maybe I didn't tell you this, but my original vacation plan was actually San Diego. And um, it was San Diego and Palm Springs. I know for a fact I would not have been as relaxed if I did that. Because number one, it's, like, it's expensive as all get out. So I would have been like kind of just scrounging, you know, I, it would have been just not comfortable from that standpoint too. But I'm somewhere where it's more affordable it's actually way more exotic because, I mean, hello, it's the, it's, it's the Caribbean. And I also still didn't need a passport. So, I mean, and so then the, the discomfort idea that you don't feel safe. Child, if you really think about it, I mean, there's some key areas to avoid in Puerto Rico. Duh. But, I mean, that's similar to Chicago. Puerto Rico is an island that's safer than Chicago. <laughs> So it's just kind of like, I live where the danger's at, so it's fine. Um, I don't go to where the danger's at, but similar to like here, I'm avoiding where places are dangerous. Like, I've talked to people who used to live here, i talked to people who visited here, and then even while I was talking to Kelly, she told me of another area that I wasn't even aware of. She's like, don't even stop for gas, don't do nothing over there. Like, if you, on your way to San Juan, don't stop over there. Like, don't have yourself, don't do any of that. And I'm just kind of like, okay good to know so I know a place now I know there's a city to completely avoid she told me avoid it at all costs fill up your gas somewhere else before you even go over there because basically it's ruled by the cartel so I was like okay good to know thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you and she was like oh yeah no problems no worries and so yeah that's kind of been what I, I've gone, so, this has been such a great trip. I, I'm not even going to hold you. It's been such a great trip. Um, and such a, like, gift to myself. Like, I got to the point where I finally was like, okay, let me start, po I, I've been posting a little bit on Instagram, on my personal Instagram here and there, but I still, I'm going to probably post the stuff after the fact because I'm weird about that. I don't like people know where I'm at unless you're my close friends and I have people on my Instagram that don't really that we're not I'm not really close to for real for real so I only reserved sharing with my close close friends at the moment um but yeah it's just been a chill vibe I've been on my full tranquilo vibe and I'm so glad I'm on that it's like what why am I stressing there's nothing to stress about and honestly, if I don't, and, and I've always, I'm always like that once I get to a trip, I'll be honest, but I'm even more like that than I was, than I usually am. Because another thing is, 
I tell people when I'm going on a trip all the things I've planned and they're all like freaking out like girl that is not a relaxing trip but I don't ever tell them this but I always am mindful of it because I know this about myself I put on so many things on the list that way it's more of a I have so many options of things to do so that if I don't get to all these things, that's okay. I'll just come back and do it another time type thing. That's kind of how I treat it. And also, side note, I don't think I've ever said this before. There are lizards everywhere here. And that's the roadkill that you see here, which is different from what you see, you know, up in the States. Is <laughs> the roadkill here is giant lizards. Um... Now, I've seen some baby lizards. I think they're geckos or whatever. I don't know what, what they're called. They actually kind of look like the lizards I used to have when I was a kid. Um, but they're like at the plate. Um, so when they, when I was at um, Yaputa, uh, Yapuka, that was um, the lizards that were everywhere. And it was so dope and so cool. So, um, but anyway, it, it, it just reminded me of that because I was like, I just see them everywhere. But anyway so for the most part this trip so far has just been chilled it's been a vibe i've been enjoying myself and i'm going to take you with me to more places but for now i just wanted to say what's been in my heart and my spirit for a minute i'm keep side note i am also keeping the direction part in here because i think it's kind of funny but um also, to remind you where I'm at. But <laughs> anyway, um, that's pretty much all I got to say, though. Like, I'm just blessed and just happy that. Continue straight up to Carantara, Puerto Rico, to Sir Puerto Rico, to South. I'm just glad that I decided to continue, like, on. Continue on Puerto Rico, to South for three kilometers. And do a trip. Because I originally was not going to continue doing a trip. I was so discouraged when I got the news about my job elimination. Um, but I'm glad that the job... The, the thing is, the job elimination was a blessing. Because again, I would have went to... I would not have went to Puerto Rico. Because my plan was to do San Diego. And then like in the winter, I was going to do Belize. Now, I could still do Belize. But I'm just... I'm here. I'm in Puerto Rico instead. So, and also too, this was something, an idea. So now I know how Belize is going to go. Like this was a good training run to figure out, okay, I now feel like I have the confidence where I could do Belize. It, it'll, it'll get done. And Belize is actually more of an English speaking country than Puerto Rico is as a U.S. territory. Because child the way i've been in small towns and i've had to like brush up on some spanish it's been unreal but anyway i guess i go bye so yeah now i'm at um a hiking trail in um cabo rojo i get here and it's raining and it's gonna be raining here for a while I apparently have not figured out how the weather works on this island at all because the northern part of the island is not raining, but the southern part of the island is. Um, same location. I mean, same side of the island, just different south and north. So it's raining. Um, so the hiking's not going to happen now because, um, yeah, <laughs> it kind of sucks. Um, I mean, I guess I could do it with the umbrella because I did bring an umbrella, but no, I literally just got better. So that doesn't make any sense. And again, if worse comes to worse, I could come back. So there's that. So the way I'm kind of irritated right now, though, because I was like, I literally was like, okay, I got a plan. I have this, I have this. It was a whole thing. So I'm kind of irritated. But that's okay. That's okay. I, right now, just decided I'm just going to chill and watch the water. Because I can still watch the water from my car. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Let me show you what I'm looking. See? It's raining. But I'm right there at the Caribbean. But it's raining.
Now you understand why I wanted to do this trail walk. <laughs> uh, wanted to go on this hike. But, yeah. Anyways, I gotta go. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh my gosh. Ding. Y'all don't even know. Yes. So the question is, do I have a bathing suit for all days of the week? The answer is yes, I do. I do and I do. So this is what I'm wearing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the hot tub again. It rained while I was down south um, in southern part of Puerto Rico. I was actually at um, Cabo Rojo. So yeah. No, yeah, it was a Cabo Rojo. Yes, Cabo Rojo. That's where I was at all day. And so Cabo Rojo was not raining, but up here it was. So I'm glad I made the call to go all the way down there. But with that being said, I'm going to take advantage of this hot tub one last time. And then after that, I'll tell you about my day as I'm winding down. Um, but yeah, I'm winding down, went to a brewery, and now I'm going to take advantage of the wine that was here, have some of that. And I might not have some of it actually because I might just take it with me to the next spot. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it with me to the next spot. Anyway, bye now. Sitting the rocks across the pavement, hoping it will cave and swallow me.